hours out tomorrow. What's up, y'all? I haven't been on here in like two days. Anyways, I just got off work not too long ago. And with that being said, let's go over the stats in regards to what happened today out in the financial market. Like, we did real good today. So, Lyft had a promotion where they were offering... 45 additional dollars to complete a ride challenge of driving 30 people. So I was able to secure that, which boosted up my earnings today to the tune of $218.97. So now, if I compare that with my daily earnings per my budget, all right, so this is us acting as a CFO of operating a small business. We need to understand the purpose of the money that we generate from the financial market in order to further manage and operate both our lives, i.e. an extension to the cost of living and extension to the cost of operating a business, all right? So with that being said, our daily projections is to generate 153.85. So now if I subtract that from our daily earnings, which was 218.97, we subtract that 153.85. That means we secure an additional $65.12 today which theoretically can be rolled over into tomorrow's earnings. So with that being said, there is an additional or a second part ride challenge, which allows for me to drive an additional 10 people to secure an additional $40. So now if I add that with a $65.12 rollover or additional funding that was generated today, that will take my earnings up to $105.12. But I have to drive 10 people. So that's not even including what I would generate from just driving those 10 people alone, if that makes sense. The $40 is, in a, is an additional incentive for driving 10 people. That's not including what I will actually make from driving those 10 people, if that make any kind of sense. Nonetheless, so... With that being said, I should be able to complete that task approximately. If I just want to say they're going to send around two to three rides per hour, I could get done with that task anywhere between possibly three to five hours. So that'd be cool. That'd be a half day with us doing an eight hour shift, technically a half a day. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I just wanted to pop in real quick, y'all, because I haven't seen y'all in a couple of days. And just leave y'all with that little information right there. And like I said, for more in information in regards to following me along with my financial journey as a gig worker, check the description box below for this budgeting system that I not only created, but obviously that I'm using throughout the duration of my own financial journey, again, as a gig worker. And then showing you later on down the line how I'm able to shift over to being a full-time YouTuber, utilizing the same system to further manage and operate, again, both my cost of living expenses as well as operating a business, all right? So, yeah, like I said, stay tuned for that, y'all. I just wanted to pop in because, like I said, that consistency, yeah, that that that's important for you to do. On top of being confident, make sure you got those two things interlocked like a marriage, baby, or you're probably not going to survive out here in these YouTube streets. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. Anyways, Y'all, with that being said, enjoy the rest of y'all weekend, man. Mine is fantastic thus far. So I'm probably just going to chill the rest of this weekend. Well, yeah, 
I got to go in tomorrow and complete those 10 rides. But the challenge is technically over by Monday. But I need to go in tomorrow. As a matter of fact, let me just go ahead and <laughs> spill my business. I'm on the internet anyway, right? Anyways, so the reason I was trying to generate this capital up like this too, because mm, y'all ain't see me in a couple of days because I, <laughs> I ain't feel like going to work. So I just like... Uh, ENPTO, non-paid time off. Yeah, that that part. Non-paid time off. But anyway, I have an insurance bill that was slightly inflated by approximately a hundred and like seventy seventy five dollars. That's because my policy is renewing. So. That's going to be the last bill of this term that's inflated like this. Um, nonetheless, slightly being blindsided by that inflated amount, I now have a $481.52 insurance bill due on the 28th. Yeah. So technically, I was like... <laughs> a hair from being paycheck to paycheck kind of situation. I was like, oof, I can't breathe. Yeah, let me let me get this money up real quick. So I had to go out there and make some things happen on the apps. And yeah, that's why gig work, I'm not even trying to be funny. I understand the benefits of a nine to five, but this is why the gig work is better. Because it allow you to see the bigger financial picture in regard to how to effectively manage and operate your personal life and your business life. Like I'm able to be like, all right, what I need, when I need it by, how many days I got to generate this capital to secure this thing. I don't have to wait every week or bi-weekly or monthly for a check if that make any kind of sense if i need some money i can go get it now and so that's what i did to make sure that i was able to secure this inflated insurance bill nonetheless y'all with that being said i'll see y'all in the next one peace all right so as you can see i'm at the fuel station getting some gas yeah, the company vehicle was dang near on E. So, just waiting. Just waiting until it's done. Hold on. All right, so fuel is 200, $2.94 per gallon. I'm gonna just keep this going until I stop at 31 because I like to get that little extra thing over if I Man, if fuel was $294 a I'm telling you, a lot of people are being asked out, oh, bro. They will not be getting fuel. $200. Ninety-four. Hold on. Hi, right, y'all. So as y'all can see, the company vehicle is back on full. We got 431 miles and to empty so i just wanted to promptly end that part of the recording because i had a phone call the recording ended so yeah yeah, yeah. i'm leaving bp right now so yeah i guess i'll see y'all in a minute